involved in some kind of deal where you interact and you cross paths with a kid, you know, we all need this. Even though we're not parents, we may not be grandparents, maybe you're single and you're like, or you're maybe you're, you're just recently married and you're kind of, we're going to have this kid. Or maybe you're praying about what that looks like. Amy and I have been there too. Well, we longed for a child and finally God decided, hey, it's time. Here's the place. Here, here it is. And so whatever it is, whether it's preparing you to know something or if it's kind of an examination period, um, or if it's, hey, this is what I needed to hear. I'm going to work through this, and I hope it doesn't come across as a teaching session and a, and a seminar. But, but with all that I want to kind of share with you today on my heart, I just felt like this is really the only way to do it. And just to kind of walk through and, and, and pray that God kind of helps take it from there. Okay? So Proverbs 22, 6. This is a verse that we use as a crutch many times as Christian parents. We go to this verse and, well, you know, the, it doesn't matter what I do, right? They're, if I just take them to church, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll turn out okay. That's not what this verse says, okay? So let's, let's own it and let's understand it. Train up a child in a way he should go or she, even when he or she is old, they will not depart from it. So there's a lot of words that we can pull out, and, and we'll, we may have time to kind of pull out some of those, but what I want you to kind of focus on is, is the train up, okay? And then we'll deal with a few others with some of the, the advice, okay? That train up is for us to be intentional about the environments we put our kids in. Mm -hmm.